Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Brad, this is John, and we are the Posh Kings. Hello everyone, uh, thank you again for joining us. I love this color. The color's good. Right, but yeah. I will say I have like one of those weird Dracula <laughs> collars going on. Anyone it got, it got crumpled in the in the closet, so it's lifting. It's like giving me the, the oh, high collar. That's like the worst. It's the like, Dracula. Just what, what? See it climbing? It just walks away from you. Yeah. And next thing you have this stance up to here, like those old school Italian <laughs> collars from all the mafia movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good times, <laughs> good times. So we have another Q&A. This one's going to be a little bit different. This one is a little bit different. I actually, like we saw, we've been asked this a gazillion times. So we, we've been around people. These questions a lot. A lot. So we've been asked these a lot. It's not really reseller-ish, but there are a couple reseller components in what you're going to hear. Yeah. Uh, we get asked the most basic things. People, I I suppose, because if they're going to sit here and watch us or, you know, listen to us. Wanted to know time, us. They want to know something more about us than the fact that, you know, we are resellers. Yeah, exactly. So, literally, we get things as simple as, number one. Here we go. What's your age? Where are you from? Where were you born? They said the A word. I know. They ask our age all the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> all the time. I think people... All the time. <laughs> it's obviously I'm older, so people... And I'm probably a look older than I am. <sighs> it burns. No. Uh, but anyway, they because they want to compare, like, okay, they're resellers. Is it... Is it cool to be a reseller at whatever age? <laughs> so cool. I am cool? <laughs> the grand old age of 51. Young. I'm 50. He's kind. He's kind. And well, it is young. But I mean, some people look absolutely fabulous. Look I kind of look like a worn shoe. Oh, my God. Will you stop that? A He's boot. ridiculous. A big boot. No. But anyway. No. So I'm 51. I don't believe that. Originally from uh, Maryland from Maryland, from the Baltimore area. I uh, grew up, well, I was born in a hospital in Towson, St. Joseph's Hospital in Towson, Maryland. Northern side, right? That's the northern side of Baltimore. Yes, and the <clears> north <throat> side of the city, uh, kind of an area called, uh, now it's called Gardenville, and, and I was in a little community called Beverly Hills. It was not Beverly Hills. I mean, it was fine. It was, it was good. It was like, a, you know, all-American, very average kind of upbringing. Uh, it was great. You know, I had a fun life, you know. That was when we played with rocks for fun and drew in the dirt with sticks, you know. <laughs> fun. <laughs> Hopscotch. Yeah. You know. The good old days. Parents didn't want you in the house. You had to leave. Go outside and play, know, kids. Go, go outside yeah. and play. Go outside. Know, Get out of my hand. Everything you heard. It's you true. Know, and that's kind of yeah. And now we both and I'm live in sunny I'm, South Florida. And I'm yes. And of course, well, no. I was just saying where we live. I was finishing the question. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> now tell your beginning. We have the same end. That's why I jumped to the end. Yeah, you can't jump to the end. You have to let me say my part okay, first. Okay, we'll say the end at the same time. So I take back that we live in sunny South Florida. Shit! You went too far again. <laughs> in case anybody doesn't Idiot. know we live in South Florida. <laughs> okay, so go ahead. Start off. <laughs> okay. Good grief. So I am 42 years old. Um, I was born in a hospital in Long Island. That's where a lot of my family was. Um, but I was actually raised in New Jersey, northeastern side of North, uh, Jersey. And then I moved to uh, right across the river, New York State. A lot of people call it upstate New York because it's not in the city, but it's Rockland County, which is literally 30 minutes outside of the city, but it's north of New York City, so they call it upstate. They're like cows and haystacks. This is really not that bad, but okay. But anybody who lives in the city or has been in the city knows anything outside or a little bit north of it is upstate, which is a funny story. Um, and that's pretty much it. I grew up there, and then I, we ended up where again? Sunny South Florida. I moved here when I was 16. And I was oh, 23 yeah. when I moved here. So we're pretty much long haul uh, yeah. Florida transplants. And, and we'll die here. Yeah. We love, we love Florida. Yeah. We, we love, well, there's some things we, we don't love about Florida. We love Florida, not everything about Florida. The weather and the Florida. beach is marvelous. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. The food's great too. So here we go. Uh, what did you want to be when you grew up? I think they have the same answer, by the way. I mean, I I'm pretty sure I know what you wanted to be, but I think where you have the same answer. Go ahead. I'll let you start. You sure? Yeah. You sure you want to say it real fast? No. I'm All right, I'm going to be an attorney. Okay. 
Oh, what the hell? <laughs> I was gonna say that. I was literally going to say that. Yeah, I know. I got it first. Yeah, I wanted to be an attorney. Me too. I literally, I wanted to like, where I'm going to get like the briefcase and like walk up all those steps to the courthouse and like be like this like hot shot. Yeah. I definitely, that was my, I wanted to go to law school. I wanted to be a hot shot attorney myself. I, yeah, I wanted to be I an wanted attorney. I wanted to be that, for sure. That's so funny. And I wanted to go to William and Mary <laughs> College or university. And yeah, I wanted like all that. I wanted a big, big like Southern mansion. You know, I wanted to go to Emory. I so wanted Georgia. to be like Jr. Even though Jr. wasn't an attorney, but I wanted like a South Fork. Even though South Fork's really a little house, <laughs> I thought it was big. He like had a full vision. I had a full. I, I was just. Like, I literally designed my house. Full vision, kid. like like architectural drawings. Oh That's how much I wanted. <laughs> However, guess what I did do? Can you guess? It's probably more applicable to who you think I became. <laughs> I became a hairstylist. <laughs> Just like a lawyer. Yeah, no. But, <laughs> but it was great. It was it really was great. super great. I was really good at yeah. it and uh, traveled the country. Uh, I became an educator as well. I think that's why I became very passionate about traveling with a job. And uh, I used to do platform convention, mm -hmm. conventions and all that stuff. Uh, I was a hair color specialist. And this is prior to getting into retail. So Correct. So before I got into retail, uh, I was a welder. I loved building things with my hands. I loved creating things off of a blueprint. Uh, I have, That's how my brain kind of works. I like seeing something, putting it together. I mean, now... Talking about it over and over and over. Becoming so obsessive compulsive while I'm doing it. Frustrated. Exhausted. Probably throwing some things because I'm so frustrated it's not going uh -huh. together He's correctly. Yeah, like, don't give me an Ikea item to put together because oh, yeah. you might want to go on vacation away from me afterwards. <laughs> but I do love, like, the finished product. So that's where I got into welding. Exactly. That's what I did. Until uh, retail. What type of work to privacy? Okay, we did that. Yep. Uh, number four, what are your hobbies? Okay, I really don't have real hobbies. Yeah, we don't like we don't like do like a DIY project. What we do and what we do like to do. I mean, obviously, we like our job. We kind of consider our job. I consider our job. Look, because I love like finding fabulous things. I love educating ourselves on things. And I think most resellers I love is learning part of their about hobby, our actually. job. It really, yeah, that's definitely a hobby. We love going to bars. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. People, do not write comments on this one. And sitting at bars and having appetizers and drinks while we also work. Work. We get to like because we, people we, watch. we go to beach bars. I mean, what's more fabulous than that than sitting like on a Monday afternoon, just relaxing, looking at the beach, having a drink while you work, and like eating food. Yeah, we love drinking food. lunch and then like going yeah, shopping it's afterwards. Definitely the perk of South Florida. Those are our hobbies. <laughs> shopping so and drinking. shopping, drinking, and vacationing. Vacation, and, uh, for naps sure. are good too. Naps are definitely good. Naps list. are good. I wouldn't consider my hobby. No, I would consider one of mine. Okay, well that's his hobby. Um, not mine. Good times. But definitely shopping. Okay. Yeah. No, that wasn't very exciting, by the way. I know people are like, mm -hmm. I like to... They expected more of us. I bedazzle, like, all of my kitchenware. And now, I'm what like, I will oh, say, I do have nice. try that. a huge, huge fascination. I'm a, I'm a history buff. Yes. Uh, kind of a music buff, like old music. Not like... But I mean, like, old, like, jingles. Like, and by historic, uh, by history buff, he means, like, old Victorian style. <laughs> Victorian. Yeah, all that. I love it. Yeah. And, uh, oh, I do, you know what? I do like decorating. I love oh, yeah. decorating. Decorating is big. Oh, so we do have more hobbies than we know. We have a little, I'm a little more deep than what I... Good, so it doesn't sound so crazy. We like collecting things, too. Yeah. Like, for a bunch of China. stuff that's completely <laughs> useless, but it's great to look China at. and shiny things. We love that. So, yeah, that, so we do have other hobbies. We should have start, we should have led with that. I feel so pathetic. We didn't lead with the right direction on that one. Everyone's going to be like, all you do is like to drink and eat appetizers. But they are top of the list. They are kind of, and they're fun. I mean, not like drinks or anything, but no. like, you know, on the beach, having a drink, Cocktails, you know, very margarita village. Little yeah, appetizer action, then go shopping. Love it. Okay. <laughs> What are your favorite colors and favorite music? Oh, that's weird. Yeah, well, not weird the question, but like, I don't know. I would say, and it has been since I was a kid, even though I don't wear it because I, it looks weird with my skin and my fake colored hair, uh, <laughs> yellow. I love yellow. Yellow's pretty. Love yellow. Yeah, I won't wear yellow either. Uh, but yeah, I can't wear it. It's not one of, it's not in one of my 
seasons. I'm typical dark hair, so I like blues and blue and red. That's my thing. Yeah. Well, like, sorry, it works well for yeah. you. And music, honestly, my music goes from everything from nineteen fifties jingles, you know, commercials to, you know, the whole Beyonce to fifties and everything. Just some gangster rap at all. Sometimes you, when you're going to Trader Joe's I don't know a lot about country though. Pick up like that delicious, you know, um the all the delicious sauces they have mm -hmm. at Trader Joe's, bump some like hardcore gangster music and it's good. It doesn't matter. We, I like all. All music. Yeah, I, look, I, yeah, I don't Open know much about room. country music. Yeah, country myself. But well. what I will tell you, those country mu music singing people are sure kind of attractive. Country music singing people. I mean, the dudes are on singers. point. The women are gorgeous. Oh, yeah, the women are beautiful. Like, men are good too. There's something about yeah. country singers. They're yeah. just pretty magical. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, love that. Music's good. Um, I like country pop better than I do. I didn't even know there was a difference. But the one that you like, you know, like, Rascal Flats and like Carrie Underwoods and all that stuff. I like that stuff. That, yeah. See, we I don't know. We went on a tangent. I mean, I know Carrie from, you know, what's it called? Uh, Wrong Carrie. Remember Carrie Underwood from oh. uh, American Idol. Yeah, American Idol. Oh, I think I'm going to go somewhere else with Carrie. I'm like, Carrie who? I'm not talking about like Carrie from that movie where That's the, what I thought the you were blood came from the ceiling. That's what I thought you were going to But I love that movie. The movie's dope. When her mama locked her up under the stairs, and I about lost like, it. And also like the blood came down. Should like, done it. Mama shouldn't have done it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, he looked just like that. I Good did night. that. Trust me, I was that as Halloween many times. Just saying. Just saying. Stephen King buff. I love it. Final one. We digress. Final question. And this one is uh, right before you Brad and I. I know I did. Here. I'm sorry. Our right backtrack. before Brad and I met, I was very fortunate to have taken this vacation. Well, you have to ask the, say the question first. I know, but I'm prefacing. See, I don't know what I'm, I'm putting it, but leave me alone. Okay. It's picking on me all day. Poor me. What is your dream vacation? <laughs> uh, prior to meeting Brad, I went to Europe for a month and went through Greece. And, and I, so when you go for something, you just want to go for a length of a period of time. That's like the thing. You can you really yeah. soak it in. Yeah. Uh, and I went to Italy, uh, Rome, and Greece, and I spent 10 days in each. I was there for a month. It was pretty major. Actually, a little over a month, but nevertheless, it was just... When you feel like you're part of the, the area, it, it's very different than just going for a short period of time. Oh. It, so that was what made it that much more special. Uh, but, Brad? Well, where would you want to go? Or do you want me to tell mine first? Yeah. Okay, so... Well, I've been to a lot of places, but like I'm just gonna say where my dream vacation is. That's definitely one of them, and we are planning actually. We're going in the spring. Yeah, uh, probably going in the spring. Mm -hmm. We're gonna redo that trip. He's Take a do European it. cruise. So do a European cruise, uh, multiple weeks, just because you know, again, soak in as much as we can. Yeah. I want to do Italy, Greece, all that stuff. Um, that's definitely on my list. Mm -hmm. I will say there's also one other trip that well, there's actually multiple trips because we like to travel a lot, as we just stated. Um, we love vacationing. We love seeing the world. We love seeing the country. Whatever it is, we like going out. My other one is definitely one of those Viking river cruises. Oh, yeah. They're pretty fabulous. Like, that looks pretty... I went, I've been to Ireland, but very brief. Oh, Ireland, yeah, too. I, mean, I, I want to go to Scotland. Scotland. I really want to go to Scotland. Scotland, too. Yeah. yeah. Wales. My family just went to Ireland. I, my brother-in-law and my sisters went to Ireland. They said it was life-changing, so that's on my list. Definitely. Yeah, all the like green, all that greenery is just really beautiful because yeah. look, we're Swiss city dwellers. So like, we don't you know, see, rolling we don't green see, is yeah. just, we don't see that and green. I don't mean rolling green. Yeah, we don't, yeah, <laughs> not that kind of rolling green. <laughs> totally different video and, and like, totally different kind of vacation. <laughs> yeah, that's a totally different thing. Uh, but anywho, uh, <laughs> I mean rolling greenery. Like, like land and like, like hills you know, and trees. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Sheep. <laughs> yeah, that. And I mean, all those people, like the, the gentlemen who were like, I mean, like, where do they go? Like, all those Vikings are such big, tall folks. As you can tell, we've watched the Vikings on Amazon Prime a gazillion times, times. and The Last Kingdom on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, great show to watch. Definitely check it out. And then the other one that's called The Vikings, and the one's also called Vikings and the Vikings. Yes. The Viking shows are everything. Okay, so real fast before we end this show, um, where would be a place you would love to go see? Besides Ireland and all that. Anything else? Scotland. I'd like to go to Scotland. Right. So you already answered. I thought uh, I had something else. I thought you were going to choose But I, look, honestly, I'm, uh, 
Italy, you know, fashion. Italy, it's like, I want to go back to Italy again yeah, for a month. And, that, and we're not going to be here quite a month this season, but, but we're going. Yeah, definitely. So, And that's why we work 15 hours a day. Because that's, yeah. So that we can that. take off. Right? Exactly. And that is, I'm putting my phone down. That is it for today. So that, hopefully, hopefully you know a little more about us. Yeah, look. We, I mean, you that probably was didn't want to know all of that. But you know what? Insane, look, at least you get to know us. Uh, and let us know if you have any other questions about us personally. We'll always answer them or yeah. we'll put them in. Um, and then it's a way for us to keep talking about ourselves. So Take care, everybody. Make sure Be you well. guys hit that like button. Please subscribe if you already haven't subscribed. And we'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.